Welcome back. The coronavirus pandemic affecting local farmers tomorrow on Perspectives with Eric Reynolds. They take a look at the challenges facing farmers during this pandemic. Eric is here to explain more about this to us, and we've talked about how this has affected every industry everywhere, and that is included with our local farmers. You know, it's amazing how everything is tied together, and, and right. our guests sort of gave us a good outline of how things work in unison. And one of the things when we think about with no restaurant being uh, open that may have been a regular customer of theirs, with the schools being shut down, uh, with other volume buying local things being mm -hmm. shut down, of course, <laughs> who's that going to affect as well? And so they st stood right in line with everyone else wanting the business and the economy to come back. And of course, uh, you know, they have that time frame of making sure the crop is harvested and then prepared for market and then to market. And then you know, we were seeing stories about people having to turn stuff over back in the ground. Mm -hmm. And that was very, uh, you know, just scary and disappointing when you think about all that stuff going to waste in the perspectives of back into the earth and the ground, but people still hungry and people needing food. And so it was a very uh, enlightening program with both of them sharing about their particular industries. And uh, Art Sessions, one of our guests, he's the president of the Mobile County Farmers Federation. And so he gave us an insight into both the ranchers and the farmers and looking at the uh, big economic picture in Mobile and Baldwin counties. And a lot of our farmers have suffered during this pandemic. And without the funding from the government, many felt that they would have had shut down things forever. All feeling the effect, but everyone feeling it differently too because there's so many different types of farming. You mentioned the ranchers, dairy farmers, crop farmers, all different things and all areas of farming affected in different ways. And you know, uh, Art himself, a third generation farmer and he's got the fourth generation going and working with him already as well. They've diversified, so he had a way to sort of hope that he could make the best on one crop compared to mm. the others. But some of our guys who ranch and some of the guys who are just farmers, they don't have the same options. So yes, indeed, affecting them differently. And then the turf farmers who grow the turf here in the area, and we uh, hear how some of them are involved with the major sports league. So mm -hmm. that, of course, hit some problems yeah. there for them. But then the ornamental and greenhouse farmers, uh, they had an initial setback, but then because of people at home and deciding to do things at the house, their market picked up a little bit. And so it is a good insight into the different areas because uh, Southwest Alabama uh, is an incredible area for agriculture and we're still a part of that industry for the state of Alabama. And so you get to see and hear from how uh, the different areas had to compensate for what was going on overall because of COVID-19. It's good to understand better and have more knowledge of what everyone is going through. If you want to tune into this episode of Perspectives to find more about this industry, what they're going through, maybe ways to help, tell us a little bit about Perspectives. Tomorrow. I like that part about yeah. help because we can do some things to help good. them out. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9, of course, right here on Fox 10 after the morning news with Matt and Asha, and we uh, get a chance to talk for longer periods of time right. and so they really share some good insight because some of the things that I learned was how uh, we are part of that chain but not the beginning nor the end of it. Interesting. And so things have been broken up because of COVID-19 and uh, they're all praying and hoping that things get better because it will affect all of us down the road. Absolutely. More information tomorrow morning on Perspectives with Eric Reynolds. Eric, thanks so much. Thank you, Joe. Chelsea.